Holy Is that a good holy or bad holy We're pregnant. <laughs> Hmm. Three weeks out. Three weeks out. Okay. Three weeks out of prison, and Justin's already pregnant. I mean, to be fair, has a man who doesn't really know how pregnancy works in terms of how quick it can show that you're pregnant and how it all works. I won't lie to you. My first inkling would be, is it my baby though? <laughs> but here's the thing, though, ladies and gentlemen. Who in the Ross Clark decides to get pregnant with a man that has just come out of prison? You don't know if your life is actually going to be secure with this guy. Why? For one, you don't know if he's going to re-re a friend. It doesn't matter how many times he reassures you that everything's going to be different this time. Everything's going to be better. It's never going to happen again. You still don't know if he's going to re a friend. And if he re-offends, you can end up being a single mother again. Also, on top of that... <laughs> you don't know what his financial situation is going to be in the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, and the next couple of years. So therefore, having a child with someone and not really knowing where they're going with their career, what opportunities are coming about, it's like, raw. getting pregnant literally this soon just doesn't make any sense. It's just a level of stupidity. But listen, listen, listen. Grateful as I am um, to work with such a great, you know, company, I did want to let you know that I am going to be resigning. Somebody riddle me this, explain this to me, explain this to me, but listen to me real quick. She finds out that she's pregnant. She knows her man has not got a source of income at this moment in time, but now she wants to leave her job. Can we make sense out of no sense? Like, legit, can we make sense out of no sense? But here's the thing, though. Forget about pre being pregnant. Forget about the pregnancy. How can you say you want to leave your job knowing that you're with a man that does not have a secure... <laughs> a secure income? Like, really and truly. But you know what, though? I'm actually fed up with this couple. I am fed up with this couple. But, and I'll tell you why. In fact, let me show you why I'm fed up with this couple and then I'll explain to you why. But before I even show you that, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also smash the like button as well. Now let's continue. Around. Music is going to be the thing that I use to support my family. I get one mega hit is over. I'm rich for life. So written with this. <laughs> Confirmation that he hasn't got a stream income right now. He is expecting his music career to be the source of income at some point in his life to support his family. But his woman has just left her job. Knowing that he hasn't got a secure. And you know the maddest thing is? The maddest thing is that right now this guy is selling shoes, trainers, sneakers, whatever you want to call them. At a ripoff price. $1,000 freaking dollars for a pair of shoes that you can buy from Alibaba for legit like up. A pound, two pound, three pound, four pound, ten pound, whatever. Okay? You get the idea. Do you know what the funny thing is, though? When she picked him up, when she picked him up, didn't she pick him up in a, in a, in a Lamborghini? She packed him up in some kind of fancy car. So the thing that I want to understand is that why would you rent or borrow or have she was able to fund this, these cars, this car to pick him up, when in reality, he hasn't got money. Maybe he's got money from before he was inside but how long is that gonna last though how long is that gonna last though you see what i'm saying and now she's leaving her job but you know what though <laughs> it can only get worse a little researching i found this guy that looks like i'll be able to go and record some of my music there i just want to record some and you know see if i still got it <laughs> you know what this waste man doesn't even know if he's even still got the talent to make music but yet he's hoping that he'll make a song that's going to give him that hit, what, that, that, that hit. And you know what the craziest thing is, well, like, yo, the maddest thing is as well is that look at the studio he's got, he's turned up at. Now, here's the thing. The studio you go to doesn't really matter that much, you know, like, obviously, if you're going to make a hit, you can make a hit anyway. You know what I mean? As long as the, 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 the recording is good, the, the production is good, there's not, there's not like mad echo in the background. Listen, to be fair, 
it's really not that deep, right? But here's the thing though, if you're flossing on that money so much, so much that you can get a Lambo on the day that you get released, okay? You got money so much that your woman can now leave her job knowing that, you know, <laughs> she's pregnant. Well then, somebody explain this to me. Please explain this to me. Then why can't I afford to go to an actual studio, a professional studio with a, with a, with a, a, high, a higher standard producer? Because all that stuff matters. How you mix and master your music matters. But listen, man, I've listened to his song. I've seen the music video. I've seen the quality. The quality, that, I mean, listen, again, sometimes quality doesn't really matter in terms of the quality of the video, but the sound was a definitely not to his standard that it needs to be at to be taken seriously. You know what the crazy thing is, though? He's not, he's not even the only person on the show that also wants to be a rapper. Ah, I don't know who's worse, to be honest with you, but both of them aren't going to make it. And you know what the, the you know what makes it worse? I really dislike how when people go on this show, they treat it as if they were in love and hip hop. And you know what the craziest thing is about love and hip hop? Love and hip hop is legit a show for people that didn't actually make it in the business. Okay, people that tried to be a musician and just didn't go anywhere. And to make it worse, love and hip hop is legit just there to make black people look like savages. Either way, though, you're on love after lockup, which is nowhere near to the same global standard. This is the same yeah, global standard, or or known as much as love and hip hop. But hey, man, these guys, hey, these guys on this show, they all think that they're balling and stuff. They all think that they're doing things. They're making moves. You ain't doing nothing. Humble yourselves. Stop getting Lamborghinis on the day you're out. Stop trying to sell shoes that don't even cost nowhere near how much. I'm trying to sell shoes that cost more than Jordans, that don't look nowhere near as good Jordans, and are definitely nowhere near as comfortable as Jordans, or the Yeezys, or any of them kind of things. These guys aren't, re aren't realistic. They live in some sort of cuckoo land. They all need a reality check. But hey, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. We are dealing with a couple that are living in La La Land, and it is quite jarring because they are now bringing a child into a world where they them where they where neither one of them are even secure in their own line of work process that and not only are they not secure but they don't even know if this guy is even going to stay out of prison for real this time you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day he could easily reoffend and right now he's already running a scam anyway with his shoes lord knows whatever scams he's running around right now to keep putting money to keep putting food on the table because we know that she ain't working Well, you guys let me know what you're thinking down. Let me know what you're thinking down below in the comments. We can talk about it. But hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Also, smash the like button. I'll catch you guys, of course. Yeah. Anyway, we're done. We're out. Peace.